official is headed towards the RRU camp at LMD. So I'm officially launching this Rangers Day. Thank you. Challenges that we have seen as 
the, the, uh, we dramatize them. So th this day, I uh, want to indicate that we have those th three formations, the, the RRU. We have uh, a camp in Meirisaba that deals with human wildlife conflicts and com the issues of compensation as was dramatized also here. And then we also have a security team that is based at uh, Archer's Post, that is a Samburu complex, that deals with wildlife security uh, in, in the areas of Eastern Conservation Area and Northern Conservation Area. Ata hii kazi, unaona chale jiaskali, yala wa mapitia katika mstuni, Mini mmojao niko wa hakika kweli ilikuwa ni hifo. Lakini kwa kuwa wanaishi wa mekubali kukana na sisi, kia mmoja tushuke hawa wanyama, hii kasi imekuwa ni rahisi. Kwa sababu, file bereni watu walikuwa dofu sikiuwa watu, watasifamia, hasa sisi sona wade, kasi yetu gipuka na wanaishi na kuafudisha, kuwabia hii siyo suhiso. Suhiso, ni kuwasa na kufuata kwa Jesus vile tunafaa kufuata ili upate kulipo. Kwanza kabisa mimi nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kufikisha sisi siku ya leo. <coughs> Lakini kabla kwa majina mimi naitwa Kadir Goru na mimi ndio regional director wa NRT East. NRT East ni Siolo na Marsabi. So your excellency I'll just write to a little bit about what NRT does in relation to the event that we are celebrating here. And uh, first of all, today is the day to celebrate. Is to is the day to commemorate the sacrifices that have made that have been made by great men and women who are taking care of wildlife in this country. They are the people who are always in the forefront. They've left their families. They have left, you know, they are out in the bush on daily basis doing what they have demonstrated here in five minutes. So the kind of work, the kind of demonstration that you have seen here, the kind of hardship you know, that we spoke about through, and finally, many of them have paid the ultimate price with their own life, with injuries you know, to their life, and that is why today we talk about wildlife. That is why today we talk about rhinos. That is today the reason why we are talking about elephant. Otherwise, um, the trend has shown that by now, were it not for the effort of these great men and women, you know, this wildlife will be a thing of the past. And it's not a theory. Uh, you know, like, you know, the ranger here was talking about that a rhino should be seen at least 72 hours. And this protection they provided, you know, is not like protecting rhino from lion attack or from other rhino attack. It's protecting them from poachers. So I think today we really celebrate great men and women who have, you know, worked hard, who are always in the bush. You know, when we are when we are in town, we are talking about wildlife. They are actually in the bush taking care of those life, just making sure that they are there. Because they have the intrinsic right to be there. It's the, you know, wildlife are not there just for tourism. They have the right to be there. That's why these people are always out there doing this work. So I'll briefly come back to, you know, what NRT does um, um, in relation to this. For NRT is a membership organization of 43 community conservancies and it's spread across 10 counties. And we work with 19 ethnic groups. All these people have come together in partnership to partner with KWS to make sure that uh, um, wildlife exists and thrive where they like the most within the community land. I think the research has been out there that you know majority of wildlife are found within the community land. That is where the community conservancies are, and like I said, they are 43 in number across 10 counties, inhabited by 19 ethnic groups, and it covers 63,000 square kilometers. 
Great Excellency, the team that are here from NRT are just a small portion of those who are out there in the 10 conservancies, in the 10 counties that I mentioned. We have 1,050 scouts that are spread across this uh, landscape that I mentioned, which is a big boost to the Kenya Wildlife Forces, uh, the Kenya Wildlife Service men and women who are out in the bush. Um, Your Excellency, statistics have shown the work that these great men and women are doing. And I just wanted to sh uh, share with you one out of the many internationally recognized measures of the impact of the work these people do. Um, one of the measures they call it PAI, these are proportion of illegally killed elephant. You know, across the world, is one of the measures that the world use world over to measure the work of wildlife protection that are carried by this people. In the year 2020, it is stood at 36% of all the killings of elephants that happened. And in 2021, it has reduced to 25%. And last year, it is at 20%. So I would like to recognize, you know, the effort that the rangers are putting in this work. The effort that they are putting in this landscape have met many challenges. And the price that they have paid is not in vain. It is actually yielding a result that has been subjected to the stringent measures of you know, international standards. And it is consistently showing that actually their work is paying off. And therefore, can we please clap for them? In NR, within NRT landscape, in 2015, NRT took a bold step. Bold step in a sense of introducing the animal that we are shown here, the rhino, into the community landscape. In Kenya, in Kenya, it's I think the first one. So reintroducing rhino into a community setting. And that conservancy is in Samburu. I think many people know it's called Sera Conservancy. This one was not possible without the partnership and the support that we received from Kenya Wildlife Service team. Can we please clap for them? In 2015, about 10 rhinos were introduced in that area, in that community, and as we speak, the population is at 21. So we really are making progress, and that is the honorable work of the rangers from KWS, as well as our own from the different Kosovo's. Your Excellency, without taking much time, I will really want to touch a little bit of the kind of partnership that we have and we are exploring with the county government itself. Um, a few weeks ago, um, uh, together under the leadership of the CEC for Tourism, Dr. Mwengela here, and their counterpart from Samburu, we had a meeting to strategize on reviving the tourism cycle between Isiolo and Samburu County. I'm talking about collaboration to put tourism to conserve better Samburu National Reserve, uh, Buffalo Spring and Shaba Natural Reserve. This is the tourism cycle that I'm talking about. You know, reviewing the management plan, making sure that there is partnership, there is, uh, you say, there is kind of uh, policy relation between these two counties for the betterment of wildlife. Mimi naito Samuel Lekimaroro, nafanya kwa NRT kama wildlife protection head uh, in the entire country, the 10 counties that Kadir just talked about. So kwanza kabla, kabla sija fika hapo, I want just to give my personal story a little bit on what these people go through because I was a ranger myself. Uh, work, I've worked with KWS for 15 years before. Kabla sija kuja NRT. Nasema hivyo kwa sababu Dr. Lowasa ameshugulikia welfare ya rangers 
Akiwa daktari. When I first came to ICL, because that was my first posting in 2001. My first posting ilikuwa ni Kambi. Kwa ina hitwa Special Operations. Na daktari Lawasa na Dr. Kuti, ndio walikuwa na private clinics. I could do since to keep shida to give us care of KWS. So, Dr. Uh, in person, I say thank you very much. Sabuli to Shubulikia Sana. Atakama Tuna Pesa, by then, there were no good medical covers for us. Like Dr. Dari and Atutibutu, Sangini of Katia to Jajaka Sana. To now listen, Dr. Dari Sasa Mimi Sijawa, Nita Tibu, Im Kayango, Namagana, Sijafanya, official, and I was to Tandika too. So, <laughs> that is the kind of person he was. Um, Pili, I know these rangers go through. I was a, a trainer at the KWS Academy uh, for nine years. So, Najwe ile shida unapitia. So, as a, as a senior ranger, I'm very proud of what they do. And as NRT, what we do is to ensure their welfare is well taken care of. The equipment they need to be in the field. To nakikisha kumba tumewashugulikia. Na pia kwa zile changamoto ya kupata katika ile kasi wanafanya. Sisi kama NRT tunakisha kwamba we take care of that. So Kadir has really talked a lot and I'm just here to relay uh, on behalf of NRT management, our CEO, our Director of Conservation Ian Craig and also my boss Isa Gedi. They couldn't make to be here today and I deliver their message that uh, Rangers both from the national government that's KWS and NRT wako pamoja na nyi tumekuja kusherekea isiku moja na nyinyi na pia kukumbuka wenzetu ambao walipoteza maisha ama wale ambao wamekuwa injured in the line of duty so for NRT Conservancy Rangers jua kwamba usiogope ukiwa porini we have a comprehensive uh, wiba that ensures that ukiumia kazini hautaenda nyumbani mkono tupu what NRT does in that kafa ni kwamba tuko na will pay you if you get injured or pay your beneficiaries if you die, eight years of your salary, that's 96 months. So it's a good measure that also makes you motivated to continue working in the field. So Kwaya Machache, uh, we are here to celebrate and be happy with that. So Nataka Upandeya Amboseli, currently Mimi your chairman of Association of Wildlife Conservancy Rangers in Kenya. In a careful lakini ni raizi. Ni kwamba tulitaka kutengeneza mbinu ya askari wetu wa, wote wa, wa, wa kuchunga wanyamapori kwa conservancies kupata sauti ya kuongea pamoja. Niposa in 2018 pamoja na Kenya Wildlife Service tuliamua kwamba tuta register an umbrella association kama vile tuko upande ile ingine tuko na KWCA so rangers pia tuko na hiyo tunaita association of wildlife conservancies rangers in Kenya. So, tunasema ya kwamba tuko national na tumesha ingia regional, tuko members wa Game Ranger Association of Africa, tuko pia regular member internationally wa International Ranger Federation. So, already tumesha kuwa connected, tuko juu tuko uh, worldwide, Africa na hapa Kenya. So, mimi ndio current chairman, uh, tulifanya a general meeting last year, uh, tukisaidua na KWCA uh, tulikuwa na representative from all regions kuhakikisha kwamba rangers tumewafikia na tukamalisa hiyo uh, hiyo mkutano na sasa tunasema kwamba in 2018 tumesha pewa certificate as a recognized institution that is speaking on behalf of rangers we are not a union but at least advocated rangers waangaliwe kama uh, part of uh, management of our conservancies. Uh, in terms of welfare, like, uh, like Marora America, Vizuri Sana, Tulipiga Kelele, tuna, Tunafaa Kupewa Kafa ya Insurance, Tunataka Kuwa na Uniform, Ambayo Nisawa, Kenya Nzima, Tunataka Kupewe Training, Uniform, Ambayo Inafanana Kila Pahali, Suezi Train Rangers Wangu Amboseli, Training Tofauti Na Ile NRT Wanafanya. Tuna, tumesha Tengenesa Standard Operating Procedures, ambaye tutazungusha kila conservancy ndio rangers wawe pamoja. Tumesha tengeneza our strategic plan ambaye tuna implement kwa sasa. And that means tuta roll out our membership drive 
tutaongea na akina Leki Maroro na wengine ambao they are wanajua kabisa ile kazi inaendelea hapa na tufanye hiyo kazi vizuri our rhino we have a rhino sanctuary in Meru National Park we have a rhino sanctuary in Ilewa Conservancy and we have other rhino sanctuary the bottom line is the population has increased the, the additional animal have been relocated to establish new conservancies so that leads to our national objective of ensuring increase in our population and expansion of conservancies i think that also deserves a club because that's effort of our rangers so in isiolo we had we have no we had no rhino poaching in the last one year we've had two elephants poached but that there was a spillover on the bound your, our boundary with the garissa the elephants cross from south from from, from Meru national park they they went into their grazing land around banane but on the poaching day they just on the edge of the boundary but the officers are following up some years back i could have stood here with the double or triple digit figures of poaching but now we are in, in uh, on the last day of july and we talk of two elephant poached in eastern conservation area that's effort the biggest variable there was the effort by our ranchers. Clap for them. <laughs> now the only concern we have on poaching is that as we re we reduce poaching on the traditionally targeted species, that's the elephant and the rhino, bushmeat is on the increase. And that does not resonate well with the efforts the county government, the conservancy has. And the, the ramification is what we usually see in predators failing to get their prey in the wild, now resorting into the human wildlife conflict. The cats going for the cattle, they venture into people's bombers, and we see our communities crying. So when you see bush meat poaching, taking in your meat, placing in your meat, list, please know that even if it does not directly concern you, it makes our region, it makes our area, it makes our conservancy, our county to have less wildlife. And that leads to complicated ecosystem where the balance between prey and predator is not balanced. First, happy Rangers Day. Turn to your neighbor Mwambe, happy Rangers Day. Happy. We celebrate you, we recognize your efforts. Mimi Sina Mengi, but I'm asking the county government, we are there for you as county assembly, and we are willing to work with you to make sure that this all becomes the best in the country. Meskia Kitui me let a challenge. Nikitui Yes. Kitui, we have been challenged that the total of top three, and it is up for us to go up. Alafu Zijaona Rangers, the county government, Apa. And I didn't see any of the representation talking. Now, Salimia, we are here for you. Then all the stakeholders, starting from NRT, Munafaya Kazimzuri. Lo, for the first time, I like what I saw here. Ata ninge the party on a fast dogo nukwe part time ranger. Kena wezekana. Munafaya Kazimzuri. Ata munafaya to pende Kazim munafaya. To us, I didn't kill it to come MCS to work on every part. Just make sure that you reach to us whenever you need us. Asanteni, Karibuni. I'm going to get a coffee. I want to talk about the same to attack our party support, collaboration, and you can collaboration. Kwangalia to make conserve and Yama Saidi. We want our party support, Pale on Angi, Kosababu. Uh, hapo awali watu wako wanaelewa umuhimu ya wanyama nikiwapatia story kidogo mimi i think 10 years kuna mtu alitoka lodwa akakuja kunitembelea hapa na alipotembelea siku moja kwa tunasungu, tunasunguka uh, niliweza kumuonyesha nyayo ya ndofu na mafi alishangaa na ni mtu mkubwa kwa umri wangu hajawahi in life kuona mkitu inaitwa ndofu ile kitu wanaweza ona ni sungura na kuona sungura kwao 
ni shida unaona ikikimbia kwao wanyama kabisa ni kitu ilisaulika so alikuwa ni, na mcha, na mshangao atakuwa anasema atabeba hiyo mafia mdovu kupeleka kuonyeshana kwao kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni ajabu alafu wewe tunasema sisi tunafurahia ile kazi mnafanya kwa sababu ya kisasi ya kuweza kukonserve wanyama wetu hiyo vizazi ambazo zitakuja zitaweza kuona wanyama hapa hivi sikuizi hapa kwetu tambo kuna wakati miaka ambayo nasema hatu hatu ungeweza kuona wanyama no days wanyama wako karibu ndovu wako hapo nyumbani e, kuna kitu ambayo ningetaka kuisisita hapa kwa mambo ya conversation hii watu wetu wengi waelewi kriteria ambayo wakati kama mimea nini shamba imekuliwa hawajui ni wapi wataenda ku report ileweza kusaidia mama mmoja nilikuwa na namba ya mkubwa ya nini wakati shamba yake ilikuwa imekuliwa mama alikuwa analia alikuwa anasema kwa atenda polisi ileweza kuconnect na huyu ambaye sasa siku hizi alikuja county ambaye ni director tunamuita Madera that time alikuwa huko ileweza kuconnect eh, na aliweza kusaidika ile kitu ambayo tungependa kuomba lakini na John National Union kazi ya National ni hii period ya conversation period of conversation ina take longer na kaa kama 6 hata mimi shamba yangu wakati mmoja ilikuliwa ileweza take 6 years lakini ile kitu najua wanalipa wanalipa kwa hivyo tungeomba hiyo kama ingezekana watu waweze kufundishwa kuelimishwa mali ya kuripoto kati kitu kama hiyo kati mnyama mbusi na kuliwa mangombe ama shamba waweza kusaidiwa Mashali ya James na I'm an assistant county commissioner representing Central Division This is Iwangu ni mgeni anaitwa Bwana Msando niko hapa kuwakilisha our county commissioner Bwana Geoffrey Modding who would wish to have been here but he had a security counter security meeting so he was not able to be with us eh jambo la kwanza ningependa ku congratulate our wonders and wish them well as the commemorate this day na tunawatambua kwa juhudi zenu sa kulinda wanyama wetu na pia our environment sina mengi ya kusema e, nikipenda tu kupitia kwa haraka e, kuna hii jambo la wild life na human conflict hilo ni jambo ambalo limekuwa kelo ya compensation tuzuie hata tusicompensate yeyote kwa sababu ila wanyama watahifadhiwa mahali wanafaa wanaishi na wao watakuwa na yeye yao na ningeomba wananchi wetu instead ya kuona wengine wanaona mnyama ya poli wanaona amil why can't we just see a wild animal and see our plight yes we desist from seeing it as a meal Mbiona kama nini our plight na tukiendelea hiyo tutakuwa tunasaidiana so the chief guest the dg all protocol observed all rangers here today ladies and gentlemen good afternoon i take this opportunity to congratulate nrt and the kws office in isiolo for organizing this auspicious event to commemorate and celebrate rangers in this landscape and the entire country I take this opportunity to thank everyone who left their busy schedules to join our Rangers in celebrating World Rangers Day 2023. World Rangers Day is commemorated annually across the globe to honor and celebrate the work Rangers do to protect the planet's natural treasures and cultural heritage and to commemorate Rangers who have paid the ultimate price with their lives and those injured in the line of duty. Rangers are unsung heroes who protect and conserve our national parks, game reserves, and conservancies. Their work goes beyond protection and conservation to data collection, providing visitor services, fire management, education, and community support. 
they are the mediators between protected areas management and communities. They often face the hardest task of confronting poachers sometimes, armed, they undertake problem animal control, now interaction, and work to eliminate human wildlife control, and other threats facing the world's biodiversity. Despite the dangers they face, they stand tall and unwavering, united by a shared commitment, commitment to preserve the world's biodiversity. In Kenya, their relentless dedication has resulted in significant declines in poaching incidences over the last few years, setting an example of other nations to emulate. This year's theme, 30 by 30, focuses on the global biodiversity framework that was adopted December 2022. The framework target three outlines that at least 30% of the planet is effectively conserved and managed by 2030. This, Your Excellency, we cannot, cannot be achieved without the adequately resourced and trained area-based ranger workforce. At KWCA, we are proud to be associated with the Conservancy Rangers Fraternity. In 2017, during a National Rangers Forum organized by KWCA to commemorate World Rangers Day, the Rangers resolved to establish an association that that Bernard Sambo talked about. We continue to offer our support to parallelization of this association. We are celebrating this World Rangers Day here in Isiolo, and we don't take it for granted. That's why you can see we are very patient, trying to listen to every word on what you are saying, and we could wish, even in the future, the same happens, you come to Isiolo. I don't know what uh, formula I'm going to use, but I think the formula you used to come this time around, I think uh, use it next time, and we shall give you maximum cooperation. Um, I want to say that uh, as a county, uh, we embrace conservation, and uh, we are lucky. At least we have uh, three uh, conservation area here in Isiolo, and also we have 12 conservancies. The three uh, conservation area, we have the Buffalo Spring National Reserve, we have the uh, Shaba, uh, National Reserve and also Bisanandi National Reserve. So we are advantaged compared to maybe other counties. We want to say in terms of revenue we are doing uh, very well except that uh, there was a time when there was COVID. I think that's when uh, some counties think they are going to beat us. But going forward we can uh, assure you that uh, we are going to be equal to the task. We have even done a bit of the organization. We have changed the uh, uh, main shuffle of the regions and the revenue has yearly increased at the moment we are almost at uh, uh, this year we have collected almost 120 million tunajua isiolo county kwa sasa iko na uongozi mpya ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kuwashukuru all the rangers iwe ni aws conservancies na pia uh, kwa county kwa kutupigia kura na kutupatia nafasi ya kuhudumia wa Kenya. Kwa hivyo ni shukurani sana kwa sababu vile tuliambiwa hapa na director inamaanisha hiyo kura yako ndio ilitusaidia sisi kutupiga jeki tukaweza kuingia. Lakini mkumbuke kwa tukiingia hapa sisi tunapeana huduma, sisi sio bosses, sisi ni wa ni watumishi wenu. Kwa hivyo mtutumie. Ile kitu ningependa labda kusema kitu kidogo kwa yale majina ya wanyama ambayo ilikuwa listed for compensation najua tumeshukuru kwa yale ambayo at least mbeleni ilikuwa ngumu sana compensate mambo ya ya wanyama kwa karibu mea lakini kuna maj, kuna mnyama mmoja amesaulika na sisi kama wafugaji wa area hii tunasumbuliwa sana na huyo mnyama anaitwa baboon nugu ningependa ongezwe kwa sababu mara nyingi tumepotesa watoto wa mbuzi wakikuliwa na babun sana sana kwa hizi milima mpaka ile ya juu tumepotesa mazao kwa hizi shamba ambazo ziko along this Tayanapore river kwa sababu ya babuns ningeomba ako very destructive ako na akili kukaribia ya binadamu aongezwe tu kwa ile list kwa sababu analeta hasara kubwa sana pia najua kama rangers sisi wote ni binadamu tuko na changamoto ya kila aina mimi kwa upande wa county government tukiwa na MCS MCS Burat Mr. Lorot ningependa usikize hii Rangers wetu wako na majukumu makubwa tuliambiwa wako na loan 
na pia ni wazazi kuna wakati pia wanafinyika wakati shule ina inafunguliwa hawa wanahitaji pia basari naomba wakumbukwe isisemekane ati kwa sababu wanafanya kazi ati huyo mzazi yako anajiweza hapana kuna mahali pia mtu anahitaji usaidizi kwa hivyo tunapeana commitment kuwa pia ukiona jina ya mtoto ambayo wa mzazi wake ni renja tafadhali tuwapatie huduma kama watoto wengine wanaishi